model consists of uh, PV, right? So here you can see that uh, we are having PV power around uh, 4.6 kilowatts rated at 290.5. Okay. And then uh, and uh, peak current is around 16.14 amps. And then here we have the boost converter. The boost converter going to be controlled by means of PM by MBPT. So here we are using PM by MBPT. And it will be processed via PDLM generator and then it will be controlled this IGBT to extract the maximum power from the PV. So here we are measuring the PV current and the PV power. So this is the common point, right? DC this link point. So here we are connecting battery. So battery voltage voltage is 240 volt. So and then initial state of charge is 50 percentage. And it will be connected by this battery converter. So here we are measuring the uh, dieseling voltage. It will be combined with the reference voltage is processed via uh, PA controller. And then this will be provide the reference current and going to be combined with the uh, battery current. Okay, so here we are missing the battery current, and then it's going to be processed again, again PA controller. So it will be generated the duty cycle, it's going to be processed by the generator. So it will be generate the pulse for this. Okay. So this will be controlled both the DC bus voltage as well as the current control of the battery. So based up based upon the power balance, and then here we have R of C of triple resistance and the capacitor, and so this is single phase inverter, and then this is uh, filter cap okay, inductor, and this is uh, triple resistance and the capacitor, and then so this is a AC source, okay. 220 volt uh, AC source, and then here we are measuring the grid voltage. So, based upon the grid voltage, we are generating the OMRT, and then here we are calculating the magnitude of the grid voltage. And then, so this is uh, a point of common coupling. So, in point of common coupling. <coughs> Point of common coupling, we are measuring the load current. So, this okay. So, here we have three type of load. So, this load always connected to the system. So, this load will be uh, turned on after 0.5 second, and this load will be connected in between 0.6 to 0.7. So, for creating the, the variable load concept, okay. And then this load current going to be converted into. Um, ID form so by using alpha B not beta uh, alpha beta naught to DK naught conversion. Okay, and then here you can see that uh, so this is the last current calculation. So just you have to measure the VDC and then compare with the reference voltage and then process via PA controller. So this will be create the ILAS component. And finally, here we have that. Uh, that control concept here. So we are taking the battery current and then ID current, ID current of the load, ILAS current, and then here we are calculating the current from the PV. Okay. And then here we are using switch case, right? If the PL is greater than uh, PL peak, right? So here we are making uh, the power will be 1500. If PL that will load power is more than 1500. So, this will be considered as a reference current. If PL is, is less than 1500, so during the time, so this will be going to be considered as a that mean uh, grid will be going to be operated to constant uh, power mode operation. Okay, so for that, here we have. Uh, the P reference and then uh, co corresponding current calculation. So after that, here we have uh, DK naught to alpha beta naught conversion and then 
alpha value will be compared with the grid current and will be processed via hysteresis controller and then you will get g1 and g2 okay so this g1 and g2 will be going to be control this uh, inverter okay so after uh, simulating the model so you will get this kind of results so here you can see that the green color right the green color only is the pv power and then this one the uh, is like uh, purple color right so this is known as load power and then the brown color nothing but grid power and then the light yellow color right this one is battery power okay so initially uh, pv having some power is around 1000 1200 watts so initially uh, grid will be supplying power from you can see that from point 0.1 right so from point 0.1 to point 0.2 seconds so point 0.3 second right uh, grid supplying power and also PV supplying some power to the load okay so during the time uh, battery having uh, uh, like uh, nearer to that uh, zero current only so it's not in that uh, charging mode so once the uh, PV sorry grid power right uh, reaches nearer to that uh, load power right during that time battery will be going for charging mode so it going uh, start to charging mode okay at the time of 0.3 second right so PV power is increased from 1200 to around 2400 so because of that what happened uh, grid receiving the power some power okay battery also in charging mode and uh, AC load also receiving the power okay at the time of 0.4 second right uh, PV power increase from uh, 2400 to around 4600 so here you can see that the uh, grid power receiving more power from the PV okay and the battery also in charging mode condition also, okay at the time uh, time of 0.5 second right the load power change from um, around 1600 watts to around uh, 1200 uh, 1300 watts okay because now the condition is uh, the PL is less than PL peak okay so then uh, we are going to operate that uh, reading the constant power mode so that's why after 0.3 second right because of change in a redu reduction in the load right pl right so that uh, power of uh, grid will be maintained constant okay so here you can see that the power and the load power will be here varying right from uh, 0.5 to 0.6 and 0.6 to 0.7 right but after 0.3 second right the grid receiving the constant power only okay <clears throat> so this uh, uh, variation of power in the grid battery and the load power and PPV right so after 0.2 second uh, battery comes to charging and then uh, after 0.3 second right uh, grid will be seeing power after 0.5 second grid uh, receiving constant power after 0.5 second load power is changing reduced from 1600 to less than 1500 watts okay <clears throat> and here you will see that result of uh, so this is uh, a grid current grid voltage and then uh, vdc so you, you can see that after 0.2 second right the dc voltage will maintain constant always and then this is known as uh, pv current right so pv current will be changed according with the change in irradiation condition so 300 700 and uh, 1000 watts per meter square so it will be changed the current structure that the current will be increasing and then this is the current of the inverter and then this is load current so here you will see that from 0 to 0.5 second load current maintained at 10 peak current peak amps after that it comes to 5 peak amps again going to change to 7 peak amps 7.5 amps and then again it comes to 5 amps right so this is the change in load variation and then here you will see that right so this is the uh, current of battery okay after 0.2 second current comes to charging mode okay so here you will see that associated batteries keep on increasing so this is the result of that uh, pv battery system for an uninterpreted power supply thank you